Posters have started appearing across LA, which depict the YouTube shooter Nassim Agman. You might remember that story from earlier this year. She was a 38-year-old YouTuber who had a large online following in Iran. She experienced censorship on YouTube, which hit her financially, slashing her income and hurting her brand. You know the policy. YouTube began censoring channels some time ago, demonetizing content that didn't fit with their PC guidelines and it pushed her over the edge. The woman took a gun to the YouTube headquarters and shot multiple people, and then ended up killing herself. These posters are playing on that theme and making a disturbing point. They say, you next. They could mean you'll be censored next, which is true, or they could even mean that you may become victim to the next incident like this. And we certainly hope these posters are not condoning or encouraging any violence, of course. But let's face it, the more people feel like they are being ignored or treated wrongfully, the more they're going to act out. Like it or not, the world is not a perfect place and there are sick people in it and censorship doesn't make for a cohesive society. And as censorship gets worse, maybe so will the backlash. I've seen how censorship on YouTube works. They use age restrictions or they just flat out mess with the algorithms to make your videos less popular. And yet artists like Nicki Minaj, who pump sexualized content to children, don't have age restrictions. I mean, doesn't that prove some kind of agenda or bias? Meanwhile, art is being censored left, right, and center. One gallery in Manchester took down work by John William Waterhouse, specifically a work called Hylas and the Nymphs, which shows young naked nymphs tempting a young boy into the water and to his doom. They claim it was taken down to provoke discussion, but the discussion was of course, about whether they should be showing erotic Victorian art. A painting. Facebook has tried it as well, censoring anatomical nude artworks. Even a self-described queer feminist artist has struggled with artistic censorship. So what's going on here? Art is censored, um, but there's sexualized pop songs and popular culture still plastered all over social media for everyone to see. The posters in LA are pretty to the point and probably offensive to some, but perhaps the point here is that censorship doesn't promote healthy discussion. It gets people really angry and that could only hurt our culture of free expression. The internet noticed this, that's where the hashtag censorship kills comes from. Well, I hope it doesn't because there's a lot of censorship going on. If you wanna see more from me and the rest of the Rebel team, like and subscribe.